Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Coffee and Headlines, our morning get-together live here on Facebook, where we take a look at headlines from our city, our state, and our country. We take a look at your comments, ideas, and suggestions. We combine all this nurturing information, well, mostly nurturing, or hopefully mostly nurturing, and we put it to good use as a community of English-speaking locals living here in Puerto Vallarta. And speaking of nurturing, how is that turkey hangover going for some of you? How is that indigestion? I have to say, I was not celebrating Thanksgiving yesterday. I was busy. I had many things to do. But Gina from Whiskey Kitchen kindly sent a plate of food my way. And boy, was it delicious. If you celebrated Thanksgiving, I hope you, have a, you had a good one. And now that that is over... Of course, I got up early in the morning. I did a couple of Black Friday Amazon interventions, and now I am happy to be here with everyone. Looking forward to hearing what you did yesterday for Thanksgiving, what your plans are for the weekend, because today is Friday. Thank My God weekend starts tomorrow after tomorrow's broadcast, but I am going to start celebrating the weekend right away. What are your plans for the weekend? Write it in your comments. I'll let you know my plans shortly. But first, as always, if you're watching live for the first time, feel free to let us know by writing the word new in your comment. We'll give you a nice little welcome. If you have something important that you wish to share with everyone that's watching, adding a capital letter Q at the beginning of your comment is a good th what? Well, this is not the what. This is just the first cue that I read. Shout out to Gina for a wonderful Thanksgiving meal. But this is the what. Did you read the Noti Espacio PV article today about the two Guatemala men that were duped into thinking Vallarta was the U.S.? Not sure how reliable that particular site is. Well, I did not read that article. So, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Puerto Vallarta is not the U.S., but some days you gotta wonder. Some days you do gotta wonder if Puerto Vallarta is the U.S. But that's just me, maybe. Haha, <laughs> let's take a look at the news. And let's start with the first one. Uh, City Hall has announced that there will be a so-called first-ever Christmas parade in Puerto Vallarta this coming December 13. This is the day right after the conclusion of the 12 days of Guadalupe processions. This news item was posted on Facebook by Vallarta en Línea. So, of course, it had a gazillion comments um, written under the news item, and they were, or they are rather, loosely divided between, yes, let's go to the parade, and fix the streets first. And yes, this is one of those deals in which we got to wonder, yes, another Initiative for Tourism is lovely, but what about the rest of the city? We don't have an answer for that, so let's move on to the next item. 
I was so happy to read that the Mercadito in El Tuito is back as of this coming Sunday. This is the hopefully growing farmer's market that meets in El Tuito every Sunday starting at 9 a.m., which makes it a great excuse to go and spend the day in this lovely little town. I bet if it's chilly in Puerto Vallarta right now, and it is, it is going to be kind of very chilly in El Tuito early in the morning. So this is going on on Sundays, starting this coming Sunday, starting at 9 a.m. And as always, I am going to um, include the URL, the web page for the Facebook page for El, El Mercadito in the show notes. But let's assume for a second that I was part of El Mercadito and somebody asked me, well, hey, why don't you tell me what your Facebook page is so that I can follow you? Well, let me show you the Facebook page. Boom. It's not very memorable, is it? It's Facebook page, facebook.com slash profile dot php question mark ID equals and then a number that is a lot longer than you care to remember. So in the spirit of not criticizing but hoping to improve, uh, it's clear to me that our friends from El Mercadito don't know that they can actually go into Facebook and create a custom web page address. So they could easily be facebook.com slash Mercadito El Tuito or El Tuito Mercadito or something to that effect. Getting your custom web address for a Facebook page is not difficult. Facebook provides all the instructions. If you have a Facebook page that you wish to share with people, that is easy to share. The easiest way to accomplish that is by adding your own custom URL. So check out Facebook. You'll find instructions on how to do this and all we can wish for the Mercadito El Tuito, aside from increasing and constant growth, is a user-friendly web address so that we can share it on the spot. In other news, I'm happy to announce that the Supreme Court has approved a gender parity reform related to Jalisco's um, state electoral laws that makes the process more balanced for women as government candidates. Although there are not many details in this article, it does say that if a candidate is represented a, is representing a local political party, the party must select a candidate of a different gender than in the previous elections. And in the case of a national political party, then the party must select a woman candidate with actual winning possibilities and not a woman just for the sake of selecting a woman. Last but not least, uh, well, we can't help but to notice the changing weather. It rained Wednesday evening. And since then, a noticeable temperature drop has been the topic of several conversations I've had with friends or have read online. It's not that many degrees, actually, but the feeling while you walk out there is definitely pleasant. And the early mornings are divine. This is actually part of a cold front that seems to be sweeping over most of the country. Is it going to last is this the seasonal weather change we've been patiently waiting for since the end of last month? Well, we are actually not sure, but we're going to keep our fingers crossed for this one. In the meantime, let us take a quick look at the weather forecast just to see what our weatherman has to say. Ha! Huh, Jupiter's cock. It's sunny. Well, I've never seen Jupiter's cock. And I hope it's sunny there as well. It's 24 degrees right now. Humidity is at 47%. And our weather forecast says we're going to enjoy clear skies throughout the day with a high of 28 and a low of 18. Tomorrow, we can expect clear skies throughout the day with a high of 28 and a low of 17. And Saturday night, we can expect, uh, not Saturday night, Sunday during the daytime, we can expect mostly cloudy skies throughout the day with a high of 28 and a low of 18. I have very little else to share other than another shameless reminder for the upcoming Day of the Dead presentation that is going to take place this coming Tuesday at the Joint Boutique Hotel and Cowork. 
from 5 to 7 p.m. This is actually a benefit for Ruta Mushi, the museum bus, Puerto Vallarta's very own history museum bus. So kindly consider attending. And of course, right after the presentation, we are going to enjoy a little meet and greet that is going to be catered by Whiskey Kitchen. So we will have light finger food and some beverages to enjoy for anyone that attends the presentation. So this is going to be, once again, a benefit for Ruta Mushi. So the 300 pesos you spend to get in, you are going to uh, have 100% of that directed directly to Ruta Mushi, and you get to eat a bite courtesy of Whiskey Kitchen. So when you think about it, your 300 pesos will not only get you a little bite to eat, but they will go to a really important cause. And all the details have been in the show notes every single day. Do up, I do apologize for mentioning this over and over, but I really want this event to be successful for our dear friend Carla of Ruta Mushi. Spread the word. I do appreciate that. And now let's take a quick look at your comments just to see what's on your mind. And Burr. Oh, that was me. Uh, <laughs> I said Burr. I see good mornings. And I appreciate those very, very much. Gary, you're always gallivanting here and there. And I'm so very happy you are back from a relaxing stay in Valle de, Valle de Bravo and Puebla. I noticed you were in Puebla and I was envious in the best possible way. I've never visited Puebla, but I've always wanted to. Uh, let's see. Boom, boom. I've read that Q and I've read that Q. Uh, Patricia says we're arriving from Dallas on Christmas Day. Lovely. Lovely. And I see comments about food. Tony says, uh, flying to Vallarta this weekend. Thanks for cooling it down. Well, we didn't do much of anything. It just sort of happened, but we're very, very happy about that. Um, Karen Miller volunteers this weekend. I have two dear dogs staying with me, so I will be playing with them, which is what I also did yesterday. I am going on an interesting adventure today, and I may report it tomorrow if it is successful you see a couple of weeks ago i discovered a website in an in a in an app for your phone whether it's an android phone or an ios device and this website allows you to print your photos from your computer from your phone and have them uh, printed at your farmacia guadalajara of choice so today, uh, yesterday, I printed some test photos. Today, I'm going to go to the Farmacia Guadalajara that I selected just to see how that went. If it was successful, I'll tell you all about it. If it was not successful, I will obviously tell you all about it as well. Uh, what else am I doing this weekend? This weekend, I'm hoping to watch a lot of television and I'm teaching myself how to finger knit. Yes, there is such a thing as knitting with your fingers. And I'm just curious because it looks like the kind of thing that you can easily do without paying much attention to your fingers. So you figured this is perfect activity for watching TV. I'll let you know how that goes. Uh, let's see. Daniel, if your ears have been buzzing, it's because I've been talking about you endlessly. You haven't answered me and told me whether that lovely video you sent me is fit for sharing. I asked Daniel who is one of my uh, streaming mentors and colleagues, I said to him, send me a video uh, or let me share a video of you in action working. And you haven't told me whether the last video you sent me, I can share with the cluster. Please confirm that because I'm sure everybody wants to see you in action in front of all those computer monitors. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Let's see what else. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't 
I don't understand. Okay, well, those don't have cues, so I'm not going to be very concerned about those. Um, anyhow, I guess this is this is it. Oh my goodness, the week went by really quickly this week. I'm getting excited about Tuesday. I'm also getting excited about my other music appreciation presentations for the month of December. And I read, and I forgot to include on today's um, information that Gura Gabor is starting her open mics at, um, at um, oh, 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 Nacho Daddy. Yes, her new home, Nacho Daddy. And these are open mics that will also serve as a jumping ground or springboard for future contestants for the upcoming edition of So You Think You Can Rise, the talent competition that uh, with proceeds that go to the Rice Orphanage. So we'll be looking for more of those news um, in the coming days. In the meantime, we'll be back tomorrow. But if this is the beginning of your weekend, I wish you an amazing weekend with your friends and loved ones. Stay warm. <laughs> Stay warm and stay kind and stay happy and enjoy the city. Go out for a walk. I'm going to be walking around after my adventure to Farmacia Guadalajara. And I'll keep you posted on how that went tomorrow. So I hope to see you tomorrow. If I don't get to see you tomorrow, then I hope to see you sometime in the near future. Have a great weekend.